Avarians. So what are we doing today? We are experimenting. So how am I experimenting? I'm going to use this beautiful purple, which I'm going to lighten, I think. I'm going to use red. I have never used this color combination together, but I'm going to do it in a pot swirl of this purple, this red, and a white. And I have had a couple of people tell me about lavender apple and said it smells so great. And I think it's from Nur Nurtures? Nature's Garden. I believe it's from Nature's Garden. But guess what? I don't have lavender. No, no, no. I have lavender and I have apple. And I don't want to pay for shipping for one bottle of fragrance oil. So since I said I have these two, I am just going to make my own. So that's what we're doing. I'm doing a blend. I love this mother cracking apple. It is the best apple fragrance I've ever smelled in my entire life. It is. Trust me when I say it is. So I am going to go ahead and get started. Hopefully. Hopefully, I don't get any steer gas spots. I know I've been complaining a lot about that steer gas. It's almost done. Thank goodness. So, I guess I should tell you guys what colors I'm using and where they're from. So, the purple is Crafter's Choice or Wholesale Supplies Plus. Purple Galaxy Mica, which I fucking adore. So, I need to get a humongous, humongo, humongo container of that. And then, this red high heels is from Bee Scented. Um, I really do like this red, too. Because I was using really red mica. I forget who had it. Nature's, Nature's Garden wanted to. I always get them confused, guys. You're going to always hear me mix those two up. But, um, yeah, I got it from them, and it was in the very, very beginning. I'm pretty sure it's improved by now. I actually think that I have some. I just don't know where I put it. <laughs> um, uh, theirs was in the very beginning. It was, you have to use a lot in order to get red, and I didn't like that. But, um, I have been told a few times that it has been improved. So, um, normally, I know you guys are shocked. I normally use my tall skinny, but I'm not going to use tall skinny for this. So I'm going to use a regular size loaf mold. And the reason being, <laughs> there's a very good reason. All of my tall skinny molds are dirty and I'm just too fucking lazy to wash them. <laughs> That's the real reason. It really is. But then the more I thought about it, I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to like the way this is going to look in that style. So there's another reason. Now this lavender and apple that I mixed together smells really nice. At first I had one and a half ounces of lavender and uh like 0.25 ounce, ounces of nope i didn't even have that much i think it was like yeah something like that it all it ended up being like 2.10 ounces and um i felt like i needed just a hair more so i used two and a half ounces all together because i added more apple now i'm happy with it so that's what i want to tell you guys okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and stick blend this so we can get it all mixed in good Okay, so I was pretty certain in my mind's eye what this was going to look like. Now, I have no mother cracking clue. Because <laughs> as I was pouring it, it all seemed to just kind of blend in together. I hope it wasn't too thin and it's not muddy. I don't think it is because of that. So, um, here's hope that it's not. Because I didn't want it to be very thin. But, we'll see. We will just have to see.
but it does smell very nice. I love the way it smells. So I think this is just gonna, I'm not even gonna buy the one that uh, you all told me about because uh, I really like this one. It probably smells the same, you know, but I like this one. I like apple in anything. I really do. Apple is just one of those fragrances that pairs well with a whole lot of other fragrances. Okay, YouTube just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I don't even know why it was Paul's in the background. But, um, so yeah. Give that a couple of smacks. That is really pretty. I'm just really hoping that I get some really cool defined swirls. That's my biggest fear. Because it is quite runny. So I'm going to let this set up a little bit. Um before I even try to put anything on the top to texture it just a little bit more than this that's a little more runny than I want it to be so be back okie doke so um this is thickening up just a little bit more it's still pretty loose but I think we can do something with it so I'm gonna turn it that way I'm not sure what my thought process is here of what I really want to do with it but until I figure it out, I'm going to do that. Hi. Say hi to hi. the peeps. Yeah, so that's interesting, isn't it? It's nice. Thank you. Are you bringing me cookies? So Gabe likes to bake. And Gabe is a really good baker. Guilty. <laughs> he makes really good cookies chocolate chip cookies yeah I can make a good cookie he really can he can honestly sell them he can uh, rival mrs. Phil's and a couple other those little yeah. lightest anyone wants to ever challenge me uh, <laughs> cookie bake off <laughs> to see what you guys are working with <laughs> how would you like organize that how would that I work don't know. they'll have to send me some cookies <laughs> I can try them yeah <laughs> Okay, guys, if you guys are uh, bakers really good at cookies, there you go. You heard what the guy said. Okay, so. Thanks, dude. I'm going to add what little bit of red I have. I really, oh, I just don't know what this is supposed to look like. Especially since it's all kind of swirled together, but I think it'll be nice. But it does smell really, really good. I will say that. Okay, so. I'm going to shoot these down. And I guess I don't know. I really don't know what design I'm expecting to get. But I'm going to figure it out. Okay, I should probably grab a spoon. There we go. I'll take this one. Give it a little bit of cleaning. Whoops. Okay, we're dropping stuff. Alrighty. What are we going to do, Kenny? What are we going to do, Kenny girl? Hmm. I think I like that just like it is I don't like this right here but I'm not gonna keep messing with it because I don't want to money the colors because it is still pretty fluid I'm gonna try one more thing don't yell at me okay I'm pretty happy with the way that looks and guess what guys I'm not gonna put any glitter I'm not, but I will be putting some gold in my go. Ho, 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 ho. We gotta have some type of sparkler, so we can't just go plain Jane. I don't do plain Jane every new moon, but not very often. So, I really like those colors. I kind of want to go back the other way, but I don't want to be yelled at. <laughs> Especially by my mom. She gets so mad at me. <laughs> when, I, when I go messing with stuff when I should have just left it alone. So yeah, I am going to, I feel like gold would really set this off, I think. I think. We're going to find out. 
Yes. 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 Just a little bit. Nothing crazy. I'm happy. That makes me happy. Okay, so we're going to clean up that. And I hope you guys do like this. I think it is gorgeous. It is really gorgeous. I definitely did not have this in mind. Enjoy the sparkly, the gold sparklies that's floating in the air. Enjoy those. Those are for you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so. Oh, I love that. It looks like a painting, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to hold it up and let you guys see it. So, like I said, I don't know what to expect on the inside of this, but I'm very pleased with the way it looks. Hopefully, I warmed up my oils enough to combat the stearic acid spots. So, I'm going to go ahead and take some photos. Oh, yes. That's love, girl. I'm going to go ahead and take some photos, and then I uh, will see you guys over at the cutting because it's coming up right now. Hey, friends. Welcome back to the cut of this soap. Which soap? Um, I got three soaps over here. I think it's this one. Yes, this one. <laughs> So this soap had like a ton of ash on top of it. Matter of fact, all three that I made, the next two you'll see coming up, um, they had ash on them too. Let me turn this music down. I'm over here jamming out to the Black Eyed Peas. And it's like, every time right before I start recording, I turn music down and it just seems like it gets louder. <laughs> so, um, if I seem taller, which I don't know how I would seem taller to you all, but I actually am because Gabe made me a little pedestal. So I'm about, instead of 5'3", I'm about 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, so, <laughs> I can actually see my camera too. That's the reason why he made it, so I can see my camera. All right. Well, my viewfinder on my camera. So, let's get her chopped up. I love the way she looks on top. Like I said, I had to wash all the soda ash off, and then I had to re put the gold mica um, because it washed all off, but it had like crazy, crazy soda ash. But that always happens. Um, I don't really do water discounts too often. And that always happens when the seasons change and the temperatures go up and it gets a little bit more humid outside. So right now, I don't love that. <laughs> and I'm thinking if the next cut that I do, if it's still very streaky, it will fade. What I'm trying to say, washed out looking like this, I'll wait a couple of more days because I really just unmolded it. Uh, what did I unmold this? Yesterday. I like for my colors to be a little more vibrant. Yep, so we will be back. I say we'll be back in about three, four days. I'm going to let this sit a bit longer because when I let it sit longer, it looks better in my opinion. Okay, be back. So, we're back. I think it's been about four or five days since I cut this soap, the first piece off. And I know too, I, well, I think that um, the colors are going to be a little bit more muddled because it was such a very thin pour. I think it's kind of hard to say but I think that's what's gonna happen however it's still gonna be a very pretty soap I love this top it is just so gorgeous so we're gonna continue to chop chop I just cut up a bunch a bunch a bunch of soaps so it does look a lot better like that was the first uh, piece that I cut and this is after sitting for a while that's why I want to wait these swirls I don't really love swirls like this it's still a pretty soap but I don't love swirls that look like that. That's when the pour is just a little too thin for my liking. But it's still nice. But it smells really mother cracking good. Hope you guys are having a fan food fantastic day. I had like the worst night of sleep. Oh my gosh. Because my back just like 4 o'clock in the morning. My back was hurting so bad. I don't know. Sometimes just I don't know. Lay to bed too long. For me I know if I lay to bed too long my back does start to hurt. But 4 o'clock in the morning I'm like okay. <laughs> So I just said my prayers and I went back off to sleep. But I slept in a little longer than I normally do because I was up for about an hour um, when I woke up with my hurting back. But I have managed to pack orders and cut a bunch of remakes. And now I'm here doing this. And then I'm going to Master Batch. And um, I got two more soaps to cut after this. This soap is in the store now. If you are interested, I don't know if I ask you about your highlight of the day. Um, my highlight is that I've gotten so much done and it's still pretty early. So I'm happy about that. And I'm healthy. 
and you guys are healthy because you're here watching so I'm assuming you're healthy so that's a great thing and my family's healthy so that is my highlight of the day hope that um, you guys highlights are as great as mine if not better but yeah if I didn't ask then what's your highlight of the day for those of you who are new that's what I do on my channel so much crazy going on especially in the world right now we tend to reflect so much on the bad things that are happening that we tend to forget about the good things so we just tell each other what our highlights are for the day or if you're in a bad mood or you know you're feeling bummed or whatever just read the comment section and read other people's highlights it'll put you in a better mood trust me it will it always does for me anyway so yeah I feel pretty good I'm pretty happy pretty gosh darn happy um so I gotta I'm so sad because I only got one batch left batch of oils to make soap that's why I have to master batch I hate master batching but you can't have fun unless you put in the work and Gabe normally does it for me but he is working from home he is currently working right now he and Hunter so they cannot help me I am on my own <laughs> so that's why I have to do it but yes if you like this soap please be sure to give a thumbs up it is greatly appreciated for all my hard work um if you're new to my channel i am so fucking happy you found me once again i hope that you want to join the sack what is a sack it is our stinking awesome crew that's what we call our sack members because you guys are just that stinking awesome and for those who are always here you know i mother cracking love y'all y'all always support me and i appreciate you so much for it so we're trying to make this sack grow and the way you can do that is like i said subscribing it costs you absolutely nothing be sure to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when i post new videos which is normally on wednesdays i'm here pretty much every wednesday but um yeah that's it so love hugs and kisses be awesome amazing everything you do stay healthy stay safe I love each other from a distance <laughs> to all this crazy end and i'll see you guys in the next making video bye